Today, I'd like to talk about computing infrastructure in the 2030s, focusing on the collaboration between ION Global Forum and LFH on photonic disaggregated computer. Let me just start by introduce myself. My name is Koichi Fueda from Fujitsu. I am working on R&D and commercialization of new computer architecture, photonic disaggregate computer, with the aim of realizing a high efficiency, high speed infrastructure by 2030. Let me give you an overview of today's announcement. First, I will describe the issue of edge computing, and then I will explain photonic disaggregate computer, which Fujitsu is researching and developing to solve their challenges. I will explain ION Global Forum and LFH as efforts of realizing photonic disaggregated computer. Next, I will explain the joint POC concept proposed by ION Global Forum and LFH. Finally, I could like introduce our future initiatives. Let's get down to the main topic. I want to talk about the challenges of edge computing in the 2030s. Let's start with some background on edge computing. As you know, there is a growing demand for edge for real-time processing, such as automatic operation and factory error detection is growing. There is also growing demand for more computing incentive application such as generative AI. Trends and forecast of the global edge computing market sites estimate that the global edge computing market will be worth 3,500 billion dollars in 2027. But there are challenges behind this. Edge has limited space and power compared to the crowd, which can make it difficult to support their future computing demands. Therefore, the edge and the crowd must the Edge and cloud must work together at address lack of power and space at the edge. This section describes photonic disaggregate computer that Fujitsu is researching and developing as solution for edge computing issue. Photonic disaggregated computer is enabled to uh, provide logical computing nodes from cloud to edge to solve the challenge. This improves the uh, resource utilization, uh, reduce power consumption from the cloud to the edge. <laughs> and enable low latency computing. The photonic disaggregated computer has three features. Photonic connection, connecting a wide range of network from cloud to edge, uh, including all photonics networks. Composable for building logical server on demand and in real time. Device-to-device -device 
meets direct communication and processing between accelerators. I will explain their feature from next slide. Next slide. The first is a photonic connection. Photonic disaggregate computer use all photonics networks to connect networks from the cloud to the edge. PCI Express switch handle resource and chip by connected their opticality rather than electricality. Ravage wide area connectivity, high speed, energy efficient optical technology to reduce power consumption and compute speed compared to uh, traditional electrically, traditional electrically uh, connected computing. Next is composable. Photonic disaggregated computer can consolidate resource between data centers using as virtual resource pools. This composable can allocate resource uh, depend on performance and requirement from your application. Finally, device to device. Photonic disaggregated computer process data directly between accelerators. Bypassing CPU. Direct connection between accelerators realize efficient processing. This slide shows smart security as a use case for photonic disaggregated computer. Smart security detect suspicious individual by collecting large amounts of camera image data and AI analysis, and it protects safety of city. Photonic disaggregated computer makes smart security infrastructure economical and sustainable. As this figure shows, there are a lot of people during the day. So we need a lot of accelerators analyze chaptered image by camera. On the other, there are few people at night. So we need only a small amount of accelerator. Photonic disaggregate computer can allocate optical accelerators according so such change uh, Photonic disaggregator can allocate optical accelerators according to such scene change by composable. We are contribute to various global initiatives and leading industries to develop and promote photonic disaggregated computer. In ION Global Forum, we are promoting protocol application of photonic disaggregated computer and ecosystem formation. In LFH, as one of target area, we are contribute to the utilization of global and open software and establishment of the ecosystem and business model in the edge area. Presenter change here. There are explained though. 
、えー、とモアディテール。Hello. Uh, I'd like to、uh, introduce about IOWN Global Forum and also LFH.、Uh, before I explain these communities,、uh, let me introduce myself.、Uh, my name is Harris Safkano from Fujitsu.、Uh, now, current my work is business and architecture planning about、uh, 6G era、uh, computing infrastructure.、Uh, I have Uh, more than、uh, 10 years of experiment、uh, in research and development、uh, about het heterogeneous、uh, computing and also、uh, FPGA design for the network equipment.、Uh, regarding the community activities,、uh, I joined LFH、uh, since 2020. And now、uh, I became a technical advisory council member、uh, from、uh, this year. And also, a c c l a i m project in the LFH, I am also a technical steering committee member、uh, and also co chair. In the a c c l a i m project, I、uh, have been、uh, contributing OSS stack for、uh, building sensor network for the robotics. So, I'd like to、uh, Explain more detail about IOWN Global Forum and also LFH,、uh, which related to、uh, our photonics disaggregated computer、uh, proof of the concept joint activities. First is the IOWN Global Forum. IOWN、uh, stands for、uh, Innovative Optical and Wireless Network. IOWN is working to create a sustainable society by utilizing optical. And wireless、uh, communication and photonics electronic、uh, convergence. NTT,、uh, Intel,、uh, and Sony、uh, founded、uh, the IOWN Global Forum since 2020. As of May 2024,、uh, 542 organizations have already participated.、Uh, this is an overview of the Uh, IOWN and Global Forum.、Uh, IOWN's vision is、uh, creating a smarter world、uh, by next generation compu computing、uh, infrastructure with lower power、uh, consumptions,、uh, high transmissions, and low latency. IOWN、uh, has two t y p e of activities one is uh, uh, use cases and applications. IOWN has Published future use cases document. For example, smart energy and smart cities and smart mobilities. The other is the technical solutions. Regarding reference architecture, protocols, interface, specifications, there are several task forces in the technical solutions working group network, optical, and wireless. Distributed computing and photonics and op op optoelectronics and device and interface terminal and blah blah. blah.、Uh, this is a more、uh, overview about and also、uh, map the proof of the concept activity in the IOWN Global Forum.、Uh, IOWN concept is a crowd to edge、uh, resources with all photonics network. And integrates them with、uh, much orchestration to achieve more efficient、uh, low latency computing. There are several proof of concept activities to demonstrate this、uh, concept. For example,、uh, RDMA over all photonics network、uh, and also uh, open, uh, open all photonics network architectures and fiber sensing. and Something. For more detail, please jump into the,、uh, this QR code.、Uh, there is a document about this book. And next is、uh, LFH, Linux Foundation Edge.、Uh, in this slide,、uh, I'd like to talk about the LFH community that、uh, I am working i LFH is an umbrella、uh, organization for Edge computing under Linux Foundation. 
the goal of the LFH is to create an uh, open, source, uh, open source framework for the edge computing. As an umbrella organization, we have uh, several projects under the LFH. As you can see, uh, the project uh, is divided uh, into the three stages, from at large stage, which is a startup project, and also uh, impact stages. Uh, this is uh, a market release phases. Each project has its own technical steering committee, uh, which decides its management policy and also operate uh, independently. There are more than uh, 30 uh, sponsors in total as a LFH. Uh, we uh, at Fujitsu have been a, a premium member membership uh, since 2019. Uh, next, I'd like to uh, briefly describe each LFH project on this slide. There are a wide range of edge, uh, including area called user edges, such as end user terminal and on-premise uh, access and regional. And area called the service provider edges uh, that connected to the central data centers. Uh, each area uh, also uh, ranges from the infrastructure layer to the application layer. This diagram shows uh, where each LFH project is located. In under the edge area, uh, uh, some, some projects, there are some projects. Uh, infrastructure related project uh, includes, for example, if it is OS for the edge node, uh, and also uh, Fresh. It is a framework for the industrial IoT and also uh, HX Foundry a platform hall for the IoT edge. And particular uh, Acrano, uh, it is a, a wide range of the project from the uh, user edge to the service provider edge. It is the OSS stack uh, for uh, to, uh, to achieve edge uh, use cases. So uh, now uh, we, uh, we are Fujitsu is working on the mainly Acrena project. So in this slide, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, LFH Acrena more about more detail. LFH Acrena is a developer and publishing uh, edge computing use cases uh, and OSS stack for uh, use cases as blueprint to implement uh, edge computing more easily. As shown in this figure, a current blueprint is use case bases and fully integrated end-to-end -end solutions and proven and tested by the community and also uh, communities support the life cycle and also project, uh, this is a production quality. So you can, uh, you can get the benefit about low cost and large scale and zero touch provisioning and also industry, industry adoptions. And also this can work on the open hardware. Acrano uh, published over 30 blueprints uh, across a wide range of area from the user uh, on-premise edge to the service provider edge, and also uh, application layer to the infrastructure layer. If you have uh, an uh, edge use cases or idea, uh, we can help you uh, open it on the Acrano. So uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, next is the uh, Infinite AI. Uh, does anyone know Infinite AI project in LFH? No? Uh, so uh, this is a new project. Uh, this project started from beginning of this year. Uh, Infinite AI is an open source LFH project uh, bringing the advanced edge AI to the edge, enable real time, low latency AI processing on the edge devices. 
uh, compared to the uh, current uh, powerful servers. So just a startup project. So if you're interested in the Infinity Edge yeah, AI, uh, please join uh, the uh, project and also uh, uh, propose some activities. And next is uh, uh, LFH uh, Edge-like project. Uh, Edge-like uh, created a decentralized uh, network uh, specifically designed for the Edge. Edge Ray capture, uh, stores, and manages data at its, its source, at its source, as if the data uh, is organized in the centralized databases. So Edge Ray have a SQL queries from Edge and cloud applications. So uh, next uh, is uh, we, we uh, I explained about the Ion Global Forum and also LFH. And next, uh, let me explain the uh, Ion Global Forum and the LFH uh, joint proof of concept activities. Uh, as Fred has said uh, before the slide, uh, there is uh, challenges in the edge computing about uh, about performance limitation on the edge and also power consumption limitation on the edge and the size limitations. Uh, so uh, to uh, develop the infrastructure that enable more high, uh, higher performance and lower latency and energy efficiency, uh, the Linux Foundations and Ion Global Forum has signed the master agreement uh, last year. LF and Ion Global Forum uh, will integrate uh, Linux Foundation software with Ion Global Forum a network and a computing platform infrastructure to enable higher performance, low latency, and energy efficiency to meet growing data delivery demands for future. Uh, in this slide, uh, I will introduce Ion Global Forum and LF Edge, a joint POC, uh, which Fujitsu proposed as a more a uh, specific initiative for the Ion Global Forum and the LF collaboration. As shown in this figure, the Ion Global Forum has a use case working group and technology working group and that considers that the technology required to implement the use cases. LFH has also uh, edge computing use cases uh, by the Aquino which I explained, project, and the OSS to implement uh, these use cases. And these use cases uh, have a lot, of, lot in common. For example, cyber physical system. So based on these common use cases, uh, we started to integrate, it, uh, integrate LFH OSS stack uh, on Ion Global Forum infrastructure uh, to prove affinity uh, between uh, each technology, power efficiency and flexibility. So uh, in this slide, uh, I'd like to uh, in introduce about the use case detail, uh, which we are looking for. Uh, First one is uh, generative AI uh, plus robotics. So there is a challenge for the current robotics. Current robot, robotics uh, perform certain action in the certain environment, but future robots uh, need to uh, be required, will need to be required to perform various actions in the different environment. For example, uh, collaboration with uh, uh, people in the factory. But it is difficult uh, to design and prepare a program uh, teaching uh, to the robot, assuming a different uh, environment and various operations. So uh, teaching to the robot will be big challenges for the futures. So uh, I think uh, generative AI plus robotics is one of the solutions. 
Uh, for example, when the robot uh, receives a command or operations from the workers uh, that it, it robot doesn't know, uh, generative AI uh, generates the animation, uh, for example, animation regarding the command and operations. Then uh, convert the, the animation to the robot teaching data, uh, such as arm um, transactions. The motion result, uh, after that, the motion result uh, of each robot are uh, captured by the camera and also corrected as a training data uh, for the generative, this generative AI. So to, uh, in these use cases, uh, this is the overall ar architecture uh, about this proof of concept using the ION Global Forum and the LFH technologies. At the edge node, uh, we will uh, correct the data from the robot, robot and uh, and the cam camera uh, by the current robot bl bl robotics blueprint and also uh, or HX Foundry, which is the IoT platform uh, in the LFH. And also store the database about this, and also th this database is managed by the edge rake. Uh, uh, basically, the, these data stored in the edge. But uh, sometimes we have to uh, process these data by the cloud, because uh, edge node is limited by the uh, processing power. So in that case, we will uh, send to the data by the uh, ION Global Forum technology. For example, uh, NFS over ION APN or NFS over RDMA over uh, ION or Photonics networks directly to the uh, GPU. And in this, uh, and also in this uh, cloud side uh, computing node, uh, I think composable disaggregate infrastructure, uh, which uh, FSAS technology exhibiting in the main hall, is useful, I think, uh, because uh, this infrastructure uh, can allocate resources when we need it, when, only when we need. And second use case says is uh, store data at the edge and process data at the cloud uh, use, using the green energy. So there is a challenges uh, in the green energies. When the amount of the electricity generated by the, uh, solar and wind uh, power generation exceeds the demands for the electricity, for power generations, companies, uh, need to reduce the output uh, from the solar or uh, wind power plants. So this means throwing away about the green energy uh, we have generated. As a result, uh, the Kyushu region of Japan uh, lost, uh, lost uh, approximately uh, 1 billion kilowatt hour uh, in the fiscal 2023. This is equivalent to about 10% of uh, electricity power originally generated by the uh, wind or solar power plants. Therefore, it is necessary to use these uh, green energy efficiency more effectively and reduce that uh, ratio of the summer uh, power generations. So I think uh, store data at the edge and process data at the cloud using green energy is the one of the uh, solutions. Uh, this figure shows about this uh, concept. Uh, we put the data at the edge and also uh, send to the cloud and cloud will process these data. But the, uh, we will use the cloud uh, which have enough green energy. For example, uh, nighttime. Nighttime, there is a few uh, power, few power from the uh, solar power. But uh, in the daytime, uh, there are enough uh, solar power uh, generated 
uh, electricity. So we will switch to the uh, data center from the night area to the daytime area. Yeah, in this use cases, we will uh, also in the edge node, we will collect data across robotics blueprint or HX foundry and also manage this data by the edge rack. Uh, and also NFS over RDMA over ION APL uh, sent to the cloud. And also uh, in the cloud side, uh, we will configure uh, and also uh, dynamic allocation by the composable disaggregated infrastructure uh, based on the PCI switches and the CPU and the GPU and also other new card uh, resource pairs. So uh, now we are working for this proof of concept. Uh, this is our scope and also our uh, plan about this proof, proof of concept. So I think uh, uh, I am planning for the three phases. The first phase is, uh, is this year, the feasibility study about NFS over RDMA over ION or Photonix network. Plus, LFH edge rake. Uh, verify, uh, we will verify how fast uh, IOWN can uh, share data to the cloud while managing data at the edge with the edge rake node. Second phase is, is an, uh, next year uh, verification of improvement by the composable disaggregated infrastructure. We will uh, allocate these sources by, the, by this uh, composable disaggregated infrastructure when we need. So uh, we will uh, reduce the unused, unused resources. So we will uh, measure the time from the request uh, time uh, from the resource request to uh, resource allocation by this, uh, this infrastructure and also measure resource efficiency uh, by uh, composable architecture, comparing with uh, traditional uh, server architectures. So uh, phase three is for future uh, actual application implementing about, uh, for example, generative AI plus robotics. So we will uh, verify uh, this uh, concept on the uh, real society. Uh, here is the related information. Uh, for example, uh, Fujitsu is our uh, working in the 6G era visions, and also a photonic disaggregated computer more detail and LFH activity about uh, computing infrastructures uh, to, towards the 2030s. Uh, if you are interested in our community activities, uh, please join, join us. Feel free to uh, contact me uh, to consulting about joining the communities, LFH and also IOWN Global Forum. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I think uh, six or five minutes left. Are there any questions and comment? Okay, yeah, thank you for listening today.